I had a few people on Freenode IRC in the Manhoro chat room suggest that I give this program some coverage. I'm speaking about Octopi. Octopi is an alternative package manager for Manhoro Linux that also gives you the ability to access files in the AUR. I'm going to show you how to install it and then we're going to play with it and we're going to do all of that right now on Spatry's Cup of Linux. Okay, let's begin. As you can see, I have a fresh bare bones install of Menhoro Linux installed in VirtualBox. And the only thing I did was uh, move the panel uh, to a convenient place. I like my panels on top. Some people like them on the bottom, some like them on the side, some like them here, some like them there, you know. So it's all about choice. And this is my choice. All right, uh, maybe I've had too much coffee today. Okay, at any rate, um, I'm going to close the uh, welcome screen. Really don't need that right now. But the first thing we're going to want to run to uh, get this installed is uh, opening up our Whisker menu. Now, if you're uh, running uh, Manharo Openbox Edition, you already have this installed. This is for those of you running the default XFCE Edition. All right, so I'm just going to type PAMIC. And the first choice that comes up is Add Remove Software. It's going to ask you for your password. And then from here, you can search for it. It is Octopi. O-C-T-O-P-I. That's a weird word. Hey. Okay, and you will see that it's going to give you an option for two things that you can install. You have Octopi and, of course, the Octopi notifier. Right-clicking on them and selecting Install will uh, put these in. And then, of course, selecting with optional dependencies will uh, give you the choices of uh, installing KDESU for KDE or the Octopi Notifier, which I've already selected. I'm just going to press OK because we already have this set up. Once done, we're going to pre just press the check mark here, and it's going to go ahead and install these items for us. Very simple, very easy, very painless. So let's go ahead and close this now. We don't need our package manager open anymore. Okay, and now let's go ahead and uh, search for that in our menu. Okay, and here it is. Add Remove Software. Okay, now this will allow you to install packages that are in, in the normal Minhoro repositories or access packages from the AUR. So why don't we uh, pick out a package that is in the AUR. Maybe uh, Compiz, for instance. Okay. And really, it's not showing anything. But if I open up a terminal here and type in Yowert, comp is. Okay, you're going to see there are a number of results here. Now, um, I've got selected display all groups. Why don't we just select Yowert and try that search again and see what happens? Okay, it looks like it gave us some choices now. So it looks like we have um, a number of options here, and it looks like it's complete this time around. So apparently the first time I tried Occupy, Octopi, I didn't even really explore doing this. So this gives us the option for installing things. However, uh, so let me just pick out something here. How about uh, Compiz 0885? Uh, we select this. Okay, and basically it's going to give us some informations. It doesn't tell me anything on files or trans transaction here, output, news, or usage. Okay, so why don't we um, right-click on this and select to install and see what's going to happen here. Ah, it opens up the terminal for us. So much the same way that you would if you were just to issue a command in the terminal saying, uh, yeah, or comp is. Do you want to edit the package build? Okay, why don't we have a look at this? Because this is important if you're going to be uh, installing things from the AUR. Let's go ahead and minimize this. 
Now, obviously, I'm not going to, I'm probably not going to be able to get comp heads working because that is a known bug with the latest releases of VirtualBox. But just for demonstration purposes, we have this here. Do you want to edit the package build? By pressing enter, you are in essence saying yes right off the bat. So I'm going to just press enter and it's going to ask you what you want to edit this with. Okay, you could, uh, for instance, uh, place a line export editor equals, uh, quotes vim in your bash rc file. Okay, but personally, I like using nano because it seems to be easier to use. Okay, um, so for right now, rather than just adding this information into the bash rc file, I'm just going to go ahead and just tell it to edit the package build with nano, n-a-n-o. Okay, press enter. All right, and now there's some fields here that you can edit if you want to. Okay, uh, it looks like uh, you're getting the Compiz core with this, the Compiz uh, decorator KDE, and the Compiz GTK with this. Everything looks good here, so I'm just going to uh, go ahead and just press Alt-X for exit. Okay, and now it's going to tell us everything that it needs to build this thing. Okay, it looks like the default install of Minharo has most of these things already, but it looks like it needs to get the uh, Intel tool, the GNOME control center, and Metacity. So are we going to edit that package build? Absolutely not. I'm just going to press no because it looks like it's going to build some of those from the AUR, and then just pressing enter to continue to build Compiz. It needs a password. All right, and it looks like it's going to download 13 and a half megs of files. No problem. The one thing I really love about Yower is the fact that it does download a bunch of packages for you, and it compiles them for you on the fly. It makes sure that you have all the dependencies that are necessary to build these packages, rather than having to manually go in, install all of these individual packages for compiling yourself. And I mean, this is a very powerful feature. I really love it. When I was using Ubuntu-based distributions, for instance, you know, you have to kind of, you know, run a command to you know, um, run through the app, get install build essential, install this, install that. You know, you have to manually go in and install all of these things. So the nice thing about this is, you know, it does all of that for you. That is assuming that the person that puts this package build together uh, properly names all of the dependencies that are required. Sometimes I've seen instances where package builds or, uh, you know, would not, properly build something because something was missing and then you'd have to go in and make sure that dependency was satisfied. It's very rare when that happens, but I have seen that occur. Okay, continue installing Compass Core? Absolutely. Just press enter, password, and zip bada boom. All right, now that it's done, it automatically closes. Well, let's see what we get when we type in Compass. Okay, apparently it didn't install a configuration tool or anything else. So now, uh, when we're uh, going through here for Compiz, now we're probably going to need to get some other things like uh, the Compiz Config Settings Manager, uh, maybe uh, the uh, Compiz uh, Fusions plugins, and that sort of thing. So there's a lot of individual things it looks like you're going to have to go through to get these. And fortunately, though, this makes it easy for you because by clicking the version right here, you can see what it is that you can be installing next. So if you need the Compass B Cop or the Compass Fusion Plugins Extra, and this is handy for especially for those of you who are following the uh, the wiki for Manharo. So let's pull that up really quick. I'll just open up the welcome screen here. All right, I'll just click to go to the wiki. And on that wiki, you will see there are instructions for Compass, Fusion, and Emerald install. So when we click on this here, all right, you're going to see that it's going to tell you to issue these commands in the terminal. However, since these items are no longer in the repositories, you're going to need to install all of these items as suggested right here 
from the Arch user repository. We already got the Compiz core installed, so now we go into Oc Octopi here, we can um, install CCSM. Okay, and then the next item in the list would be the Fusion icon if you want that. The Emerald Themes, uh, Compiz Fusion Plugins Extra, Lib Compiz Config, and then of course the Compiz Manager. So this is very nice indeed. It's very nice that I was able to find all of the uh, packages, but let's say, um, let's go ahead and select to display all groups because maybe I want to have a nice little tool that I can use to keep my system clean. And I know this particular package does happen to be in uh, the main repository. So let's say I want to use BleachBit. Okay, and you will see that it is in the community repository, and just by right-clicking, you can install. So this is a wonderful alternative, you know, um, but the thing is, when you are searching through the AUR, I think you're just going to want to uh, select Yaourt itself. Okay, so very nice indeed, and look, they even have BleachBit in uh, the in the uh, Arch user repository. They have a BleachBit uh Bonus. Hmm, that may be something I could look into because it provides additional cleaners for bleach bit. Looks kind of cool. And then, of course, a, a bleach bit um, CLI version with no graphical user interface. Cool. And then, of course, um, you can get the latest and greatest bleeding edge by downloading the bleach bit subversion version. Subversion version. Try and say that ten times fast. So it looks like Octopi is an excellent tool for you guys to try out. Uh, definitely give it a spin and uh, put your comments in the space below for the benefit of others. I'm out of here.